Dragon Ball Z Universe 2 is easily one of the best Dragon Ball Z games I have ever played of all time. But besides that, welcome back to another episode of Dragon Ball Super Reviews. Today's episode is going to be episode 62? 61 or 62, I can't remember off the top of my head, I apologize for that. You can go ahead and crucify me in the comments for not remembering. But anyways, in today's episode, we're going to be talking about the, uh, the future Trunks kind of transformation that has that has been going on right now the fact that goku's trying to learn the mafuba and the fact that beerus might be potentially trying to get himself into the future so he can destroy zamasu okay so the beginning of the episode begins off with just just a back uh, just a, a flashback of everything that happened in the previous episode and then we go into uh, the the current episode and we we see Future Trunks and his some and his somewhat new transformation. He's surrounded in the Super Saiyan aura, but at the same time, he's he's surrounded by a, a Super Saiyan God aura. Not the Super Saiyan God with the red hair. I'm talking about Super Saiyan Blue. That's why that's why I meant to say. But this is some this is some kind of transformation. Uh, he was fueled by the rage because Black and Zamasu were saying that he was a sinner. And, and all this and he's just he was engulfed in rage of the fact that it was he's thinking in his head because of it was because of him that that's the reason why the future as we know it right now just ended up to just turn into utter garbage and trash and he feels really bad for it i i completely understand but he's he's fighting off black and he's fighting off black and zamasu at the current moment and he's holding off his own. He's doing pretty well, but he's not strong enough to defeat them. And that's what we're seeing right now in, in the beginning of the episode. He's he's pretty strong. He's gained a sub substantial amount of power boost to his new transformation, but he's not yet strong enough to beat either Black or Zamasu. And even if he, even if he wanted to beat Zamasu, there's no way he could possibly kill him because he's immortal. He has an immortal body that cannot be destroyed and so we're just gonna have to deal with that but i'm gonna go ahead and skip forward uh, a little bit because the rest of it it's just like chi chi goten gohan uh, saying all this stuff they're like trying they're like they finally learn of what's like, like what's going on right now in the future trunks timeline and i actually have a little bit of a theory of what gohan could potentially be doing I feel like he might actually, for whatever reason, want to go into the future so he can help future Trunks because he feels bad. Because you remember in, in some of the previous episodes, uh, there was basically an entire dedicated episode, sort of, where uh, future Trunks and Gohan, as an adult, uh, spent a whole day together. Trunks got to learn that Gohan, although he was stronger than he, what he was when he was Super Saiyan 2 Teen Gohan, he grew up into a family man, he has a daughter, he has a wife and stuff like that, and he's happy with his life, and he's happy that the fact that he can know that Gohan is there, he's alive, he's healthy, he's well, he's got a family. Um, it made Trunks realize uh, that he needs to go and do the same exact thing, uh, thing, thing for the people in the future. And Gohan felt really bad because... Trunks had never said anything to him about this. He just assumed that it was just whatever, and he was just there to visit, and that's all it actually that, that's all it actually was for, to him. But truth be told, that wasn't that wasn't the case, and he feels really really bad for it. And I understand that. So I feel like when Goku and Vegeta uh, go back into the future, for, I, I think for whatever reason, Gohan's gonna want to go back. But I could be entirely wrong about that. I think it would actually be kind of cool just to see him try to fight off Black and actually, like, possibly gain, like, a new transformation of some sort. Maybe he'll become a god. I don't know how, but maybe he could become a god, sort of. I, I just want to see something cool happen to Gohan, because for those of you who don't know, Gohan's my favorite character of all time, but that's besides the point. Anyways, later on in the episode, they're talking, they're trying to find out a way of how they can beat Black and Zamasu. And then Piccolo points out that there is one way that they can possibly uh, get rid of the future Zamasu, not the Zamasu that's in the body of Goku and uh, and Black, who's basically Black now. No, I'm talking about the future Zamasu that has the immortal body. And then Piccolo basically says that they should use the Mafuba. And then Vegeta questions what is the Mafuba. And then Piccolo goes on and explains that back in, in Dragon Ball, 
and like the into like the late episodes of Dragon Ball, Demon King Piccolo was sealed into um, a pot, basically, like like some sort of like pot, right? And he was sealed because of the Mafuba. The Mafuba had sealed him into this pot so that he can be stuck away forever. And Master Roshi had attempted to use the Mafuba on him again so he, they can seal him back up again because um, the Pilaf gang had released him because they wanted the Dragon Balls and stuff like that. But for those of you who actually watch Dragon Ball, you would know that Master Roshi failed and he ended up dying, and so did Shaotzu. That's 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 all a whole other thing. I've always spoiled like this this big huge thing for people who who haven't watched Dragon Ball yet. But if you're watching Super, how have you not watched the original Dragon Ball yet? I, I suggest you guys should just go watch, binge watch like the whole like 200 plus episodes stuff like that. But that's whatever. That's up to you. And so Piccolo is, su is suggesting that he, they should use the Mafuba and stuff like that. And then what Goku does is that with his instant transmission, he goes back to the Turtle Hermit house, being Master Roshi's house in the middle of the ocean. And he's asking Master Roshi that if he can teach him how to learn the Mafuba. And in one, in basically one, like just flawless night, he learned how to use the Mafuba and his experiment. Uh, his guinea pig, I'll just call it guy. His guinea pig was a uh, turtle, which is the turtle that Master Roshi keeps in his house. I felt bad for turtle, but it was kind of it was it was kind of a com comedic relief, knowing the fact that like what's going on in the future and stuff like that. But whatever, you know. And then finally, to end off the episode, we see uh, the area of where the Universe Ten uh, Supreme Kai or Kaioshin. Um, is at right now and Beerus is basically explaining to him that I want to go into the future but because being a god I can't do that so I need to use the time ring to go into the future so that I could then destroy Black and Zamasu and we basically pointed out that because everybody was scolding him that's what this is what we is saying he's scolding uh, they're scolding Beerus because uh, Beerus is saying all this shit like oh if a god does this, if a god does that, the time goes back to normal. But obviously, if you watched the latest few episodes, that didn't exactly fucking happen, did it? <laughs> and so he feels bad. The god of destruction, of all people, feels bad for not making the future better like he had expected to. And so he's he's trying to get the time ring from the universe of Kaioshin so he can go to the future and destroy Zamasu in black. And then everybody in the future is going to be happy. And then Trunks is going to be safe. He's going to have a happy life. Um, but as it turns of how of what they're going to do so that they can bring back uh, all the people that died from Black and Zamasu, that's a completely whole other thing. Maybe they'll bring the Dragon Balls um, f uh, from the past into the future so that they can use the Dragon Balls to resurrect all the people that died. But that's I guess that's a theory for a whole other video. And uh, who knows? Maybe I'll actually talk about it. Another video that I actually really do want to talk about is kind of just to, to discuss um, whether or not, um, because this is what I believe. I believe, oh, I'm sorry, I thought I muted my mic. Uh, I believe that Goku Black is possibly one of the greatest villains of all time. Like The fact that uh, he's basically Zamasu and he, and he switched bodies with the body of Goku and he did this, he did that. Um, his fighting style is really fucking cool. The fact that he's basically a Saiyan, and he can turn into what is essentially a Super Saiyan with with God Key because he's a god. It's just epic all on its own. There's a whole new transformation and just all this stuff. Just I, I believe Black is one of the greatest villains in Dragon Ball Z history. And uh, I want to I want to hear your guys' opinions. Who's your favorite? Who's your favorite villain of all time? If I had to say who my very who my favorite villain is. Um, I guess right now I, I'm not really like a like a huge like villain villain kind of favorite guy, but if I really had to choose one, it would definitely be the Goku Black. I want I want to hear you guys' opinions. Leave it in the comments saying who your who your favorite villain is and stuff like that. Give me your reasons why you like this villain so much, like Turles or Slug, just just to name off a couple of examples. But anyways, um, I'm, I'm about to hit the 10 minute mark. I think I wasted you guys' time enough, and I feel like you guys are. Um, or are, are, are off going to do some other stuff. Maybe some of you are watching this before you're watching Super, which I don't know why you want to do this. But anyways, that's regardless the point. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and, and end it off right here. But real quick, I want to say 
uh, leave a like just for um, the masses, the massive support that you guys have been giving uh, to me uh, to me on the series of reviews on Dragon Ball Super episodes. Um, it, it makes me happy knowing that there is a group of com- uh, there is a community out there that loves Dragon Ball as much as I do. And uh, also subscribe for future Xenoverse 2 content because Xenoverse 2 is coming out next week on the 25th on Tuesday, uh, October 25th. So mark down your calendar if you haven't pre-ordered it yet. I would highly suggest that you go uh, uh, get like the eight, the eighty dollar version because you get the season pass. You're gonna get all this bonus stuff. You're gonna be able to play as Future Trunks. You're gonna be able to pl- uh, play as Goku Black because you're gonna get, because you're gonna get the day one edition stuff like that. So I highly suggest that you guys subscribe to the channel so you can uh, see all this uh, this gameplay with Goku Black, uh, Future Trunks from Super and stuff like that. I want you guys to. Just look out on the channel and look out for the, for those future videos and stuff like that. I'll do some online stuff, uh, especially because I've uh, in the beta right now. There's an open beta that I've been playing for like the the, the past nonstop hours. The beta is so much fun. Online's fun, but I, <laughs> I've been recording for 11 minutes now. I, t- I took too much of you guys' time. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and stop the recording right here. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to leave a like. Let me know in the comments uh, who your favorite villain is. Subscribe for future content on different on different games and stuff like that. And I'll see you next time on the video. Have a wonderful day.